This is Rick again. And in this section, we're going to be looking at the passcodes. Now, passcodes are very important. Um, in the agent login, or actually the agent CRM, where the agent is going to go in, is going to be able to use all the features and get all the call information, there's a resume and the pause button. Now, when technically, when they hit resume, that means that they are ready to take calls. When they hit pause, they are, for some reason, not ready to take calls. So, for all sakes and purposes of a call center, then agents need to be taking calls. If they're not taking calls, we need to know why they're not taking calls. So the pause codes allow you to control what they're doing and for you to be able to see what they're doing or the supervisor to see what they're doing, you know, throughout you know the day. So if an agent is not taking call, then this status will say, okay, the guy's on pause and this is why he's on pause. So let me show you where to set up the pause codes and, and they're very, very useful. So let's go here. Now the passcodes are set in the campaigns. So let's start with the uh, test outbound campaign. And as you can see here, you can hit the detail view or you can hit it on the side and then hit passcodes. Okay, so for the test outbound campaign here, we're going to add the following passcodes. We're going to put BRK, which will be break, and it will be billable. Um, let's put L and uh, uh, lunch. And it'll be lunch. And that's not available. Let's put bath, which will be bathroom break. And yes. Let's put, uh, let's say coach. Chase needs to be coach for some reason. Coaching. And pretty much, let's just leave those for right now. So now we have set the following four passcodes to the test outbound campaign. So let's just make sure that these will be active. And let's go to test outbound campaign and we hit detail view. And we move down until we see the passcodes. Which is right here. So, what we want to make sure is that these are in all fours, which means that every time they hit pause, they're going to have to give us one of the reasons to why they're not taking calls. So, once we submit that, we have added the pause code. So, let's see what they look like. So, I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to log in. And we're going to put submit. I already pre inputted all the information and I chose. Since remember in the user groups, I only allowed for this agents to be in this campaign. It's the only campaign that shows, and so we submit. Phone rings. Okay. Now, right here, I'm in a pause status, and so I haven't hit the button to be ready to take call. So let's see what it looks like on our screen, and we will go over this reports in another video. As you can see here, you can see the test agent 6000 is actually on a status of pause, and it's showing login. So let's say that we went ahead and hit resume. And let me go ahead and set this here quickly. Okay, now you see that the agent's ready for take calls. But if the agent decides, hey, I want to pause because I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, and we see here, now we know that the agent is on the pause status, is not taking call, and we know the reason he's not taking calls is because he needs to use the restroom. Okay, so again the passcodes you can add them here so let's go ahead and add passcodes to the inbound campaign too and we'll put that to that one launch well it's here for lunch break Okay, so now let's make sure now we added it for the test inbound campaign. And let's go to the campaign main menu and let's make sure it's for detail that it's active. Okay. And they are all four. So this campaign also, the inbound and the outbound campaign have now possible sets.